passa, assim você me mata. Ai, se eu te pego, ai, ai, se eu te pego, ai, delícia, delícia, assim você me mata. Ai, se eu te pego, ai, ai, se eu te pego, hein? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Wait here, one second. Let me get a glass of water. I'm back. Sorry about that. Dancing takes it out of me sometimes. Oh, and how's everything going in Brazil? Well, everything in Brazil is going pretty good. Our semester is wrapping up. We only got about maybe 20 days left of classes. My Portuguese class already ended. I'm getting ready to write one of my final papers. I only have two more papers to write for my anthropology class. So, basically it's going good. The weather is getting nice at the beginning of summer. Uh, I'm going to be traveling again to South of Bahia uh, for Christmas break and staying there for a month. So that'll be kind of cool to get to live in another city in Brazil. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything's been going pretty well so far. Thanks for asking. How are your classes going? Are you like learning and stuff? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm learning quite a bit. Uh, in my Portuguese class, we, we got to learn a lot of new grammar techniques and got to practice our writing a little bit this semester. Uh, in my architecture class, I've learned a whole lot about architecture, not to mention how to talk about architecture in cities in Portuguese. In, in my artistic manifestations class, I've learned so much about Brazilian culture and just the different ways that they express their culture through music, literature. It really got me into reading, actually. I, I really kind of decided to start reading books here in Brazil because of that class. And my anthropology class has taught me so much about just the history of of all kinds of things here in Brazil, whether it be uh, the black the black strike of 1850 something. I'm terrible, I forgot that one. But yeah, through that I've gotten to learn a lot, not to mention how to write essays, a 46 page essay. That's a little bit of work in English, but imagine doing it in Portuguese. But that class has really forced me to learn outside of the classroom just how to do the assignments. So that's been pretty cool. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm really learning a lot here in Brazil. What's the weather like in Brazil? Is it like hot? So yeah, the weather, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty warm here in Brazil. Surprisingly, it's not as hot as you would think it would be. Uh, I mean, when I got here, it was the winter time, which meant that it was 70, 75 degrees just about every day. And now it's the summertime, and it sits at about 80 degrees every day. But it doesn't seem to get much hotter than that, nor does it get much colder in terms of highs. Um, the summer is supposed to be the dry season, but just last week, we basically got flooded with rain. I mean, there was one day I, was, I went to class, and I have to walk over an overpass back to, back to my house. And that overpass had such bad drainage, and there was so much rain, that the overpass itself was like a river going over top of another road because the water couldn't leave, so it was just, it was like knee deep water on the overpass. Uh, and there were also some warnings about the whole entire streets being underwater so cars couldn't pass, and a few people were concerned about buildings falling. So it's been raining a lot, strangely for this part of the year, but uh, at the same time, it usually rains part of the day, and then all of a sudden it's beautiful and sunny and you need to be. So, yeah. That's basically the weather here. It's not not too hot, not too cold, not too sunny, not too rainy. And it's kind of a little bit of a mixed everything, I guess. The only thing we don't get is snow and ice. When you come back to work. When am I coming back? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I really haven't exactly decided just yet. Uh, my program goes until about June 22nd of the year that's coming up. Uh, but. I'm thinking I might stay here until July, maybe early August before coming back to the States. I, I really miss everybody and I'm really excited to come back, but at the 
same time, I'm having such a great time here. It's hard to believe that five months have already passed. So, since you're studying in, like, South America, your Spanish must be getting really good, right? Yo hablo español. Me gusta Taco Bell. No, actually, in Brazil, they actually speak Portuguese, not Spanish. But actually, I have been getting a lot of practice here. Um, I live with a host family who doesn't speak English at all, so I speak Portuguese every single day. All of my classes in the university are totally in Portuguese, and I really get a lot of practice from my anthropology class, which gives us about, I'd say, about 100 pages of reading every two weeks. Uh, and over that 100 pages of reading, we have to write a four to six page. Paper. So I really had to learn how to write essays in Portuguese, something I never imagined I would do before. But uh, so far it's been a great experience to really learn more about Portuguese and just I think it's a great opportunity because I feel like my Portuguese has gotten so much better just from living here and interacting with people than never would have gotten from sitting in a classroom in the United States. Oh, hey, Andrew. So I hear that the World Cup is going to be in Brazil. Are you going to be there when that happens? As much as I'd love to be here for the World Cup, sadly, my program will be ending in 2012. And the World Cup will be arriving here in Brazil in 2014. And actually, it will be happening here in Salvador, along with, I think, nine other cities here in Brazil. Uh, they're actually still building the, the soccer stadium here in Salvador right now, and they're starting to work on the roads and all that kind of stuff to make it accessible. As you guys probably have heard my ranting about the traffic here in Salvador and getting around, it's not really easy. So for all these thousands of people who are going to come for the World Cup, they have to make a lot of improvements. And I'm actually kind of hoping to do some independent research about these kind of infrastructural developments that they're doing for that. But sadly, no. During this trip, I won't be here for the World Cup. However, who knows, in two years, in 2014, maybe I can come back. That would be really cool. Well, I hope you learned all you wanted to know about my trip so far here in Brazil and all my news that isn't very important. Um, but other than that, yeah, my life is going well here. So with that, I guess I'm heading now. Ciao, everybody, and good luck. Natural, quando a luz do dia Mas que preguiça boa Me deixa aqui à toa Hoje ninguém vai estragar meu dia Só vou gastar energia Pra beijar sua boca